All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Mindshow Publishers, where we live that passive income life one idea at a time. If this is your first time to my channel, thank you for joining. My name is Michelle Jenkins. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Today's video is going to be about Amazon FBA and the toy compliance that all of us have been hit with. If you are selling toys on Amazon and you do not have the compliance records for those toys, and that compliance record is basically stating that that toy has gone through certain testing procedures to uh, basically align it to a certain age bracket and to say that it is okay for those age brackets. Like I had a uh, toy testing lab do a test on a wholesale product that I have. I did this back in 2012, 2013. And basically um, they have several different types of tests that meet um, the requirements of that test. Um, to be, you know, a toy compliant uh, product. And I took my product through that. It wasn't a toy, but it was for kids. So I just wanted to do it to be on the safe side. So if it happens to come up, even though mine is a clothing product, I do put it in party favors. Um, I do have it in kids' toys area. Although it's not a toy, I'm still safe if they try uh, to make me provide that documentation. So now what we're going to do, if you haven't seen it, and I'm sure you have, because if you are selling toys, you've already received the actual um, letter from Amazon telling you that you have these particular requirements. So what we're going to do, we're going to log in and I'm going to show you what I've been hit with. I've been hit with 74 different requirements. Uh, let me find my phone maybe to come through on my watch I'm waiting for my two-step verification 486 and if you don't have two-step verification in place make sure uh, you do that and for some reason it didn't like the number I put in let's try it again all right looks like it's going through now so when you get into Amazon and you'll see I got eight orders to ship out today uh, that's actually one of the products I don't know if you can see that but it is a my life uh, retro DJ uh, kit uh, bought it for two dollars and fifty cents uh, it's going to be sell it it did sell for uh, $16.99 and it was one of the products that they sent me a compliance a letter on the way that I got out of this of course is not that I don't have to provide that documentation but I sold out every last one of them, so that was a good thing and what I'm doing is when I go back in I basically am deleting that list completely because I don't plan on getting any compliance um, records that they're asking for and you'll see that there's different things that um, I've had a hit on from policy which with me getting hit with these when I scan the items if it's restricted I'm not gonna buy it anything that I have gotten a hit on it wasn't restricted for me it was an item that I could actually sell but either the company has gone back in and supplied you know documents saying that this is our brand we don't want anyone selling it so I had a um, it said a food and product issue it was actually a I think it was a toy um, yeah it was a um, a little dump truck that when it rolled across the floor it ate up the different little toys that came with it so why they put it in food uh, uh, compliance issue I have no idea but that um, the listing was removed in 2020 uh, last year but the crazy thing about it is I haven't sold that item since 2018 or 2019 so that's what I wanted to tell you about your compliance item so right now is showing that I'm in the yellow at risk for the account uh, rating so what I'm doing to make sure it doesn't fall into the red area because before all these compliance things came out I was in the green I'm now in the yellow so what I am doing is I'm going back for all of these items and I'll show you let's see 
me find where I go in here on these. Documentation requests. Um, it was 74. It looks like it's down to 29 now. But what I did, I went through all of my listings. Anything that was inactive or active, I went through all of them to try and find where they were. The majority of these items, I don't even have stock for. They were still open. So I would tell you, if you haven't gotten hit with a compliance or documentation request and you don't plan on selling that product anymore, just delete the listing. At first, I was just going to close the listing, but I know I'm not going to sell those items anymore. I've been selling on Amazon since 2017. And you know, just like everybody else, if you're starting out, you're just going out and you're sourcing in all these different places. So you get onesie twosie items. You might get lucky and find 15, 20 items, whatever it is. But once you sell those out, that's it. You know, that's what happens when you're actually sourcing every day, every week, whatever your process is. So I went through and first I went on this and I went to all of these items. Like this one says that the listing was removed and that's what will happen. If you have an item and they have requested the documentation, if you don't provide the documentation that they're asking for within the time frame, and I think they're only giving you a week to actually provide this information, two weeks maybe, but I think it's only a week. Um, if I take this item now and I copy it, and let's just go over to uh, Amazon. We'll see how it comes up um, and actually I don't think it comes up uh, at all uh, you know normally if you put something in there and it's out there and they can't find it you used to get like the little dog saying you know that there's been an issue or something when you put it in now they've taken the entire page away <laughs> so nobody you know uh, is selling it under that particular um, ASIN number now, what I have heard is if somebody else supplies that documentation, I think it leaves it open for everybody because the proper documentation has been supplied. But like I said earlier, I'm not going to provide any documentation. The direction that I'm going is I am going to private label my products. I have two private labels that's out there right now. I have two more that I am targeting to have in the next uh, 30 days. I've already ordered samples for them. My goal is to go straight private label because if you're private label, you don't have to worry about all these compliance items. Uh, if you need product certification for your toy or whatever it is, if it's your product, it's a lot easier for you to get it. Now, if you are wholesaling uh, and you buying stuff from China, you may or may not be able to get the proper documentation. So you want to think about this with any toy that you're going to sell. I've saw people say that their listing has been closed. Uh, they no longer can sell it on Amazon. They had stock. Uh, some people got hit where they were shipping items into Amazon that they had toys. And now these items are being uh, the document. Um, the product documentation is being required for those documents they're not going to have it. So they're going to have to get those items shipped back to them or tell Amazon to destroy them. Either way, it's putting you between a rock and a hard place. So if you're thinking about uh, doing Amazon FBA, just be conscious of the types of items that you're selling. Um, you don't want to sell items that are restricted, of course. If it's toys, you will need the actual um, product documentation to prove that it is a safe product for kids. Um, like I was saying, what I have done, I went through, and it was 74, it's only 29 now. I went through all of these, and what I basically did was I copied it, and then I went over to uh, my inventory, and I basically put it in here, pasted it, um, and I found it. Now, this one... When the image is gone, that means Amazon um, usually has removed it, you know, for you. This particular one, it says relist. This means that 
I was the one that took it off. And that's what I was doing. So I got, um, I closed out this one, but I'm going to go to delete because I'm not going to sell this. This was a, a stuffed animal that I sold back in 2017. Uh, like I said, I started selling on 2017 and I didn't close out, you know, the different, the different items. So hopefully that one will get moved off. I was hoping I could find one that was actually one that um, they remove. Let's see. Let me find it up here. Let's performance. I'll show you. And if they removed it, it will say fix issue. The only way to fix it is to be a, is to send in a documentations. Uh, so, okay, this one. It says listing removed. I know I tried to, I think, delete this one, but they had removed it. So let's try it so you can see what happens. Okay, so this is one that Amazon removed, and I sold all of these last year, uh, so I didn't have any other product for it. The image will be gone, and over here it says fix issue. If you hit fix issue, it's going to take you to the page for the documentation. So if you get your item removed, but you plan on getting the documentation, you can supply, you know, the documentation to them. Um, looks like it's taking a while for that to come up. But if you do get it, you're going to have to go to that manufacturer, um, request that documentation. Don't know whether they will supply it to you or not. And if it's onesie, twosie item, uh, onesie, twosie items, there's no point in getting a documentation if you only have that small amount. What I would suggest, just go sell it on Macari, um, go sell it on eBay, just get rid of it, you know, from, from that point. And it doesn't look like this is coming up. So, but either way, I just wanted to kind of show you some of the things that was going on. If you're thinking about becoming a, um, a wholesaler, if you thinking about doing um, private label items, be careful with the items that you select because of the fact that if it's a toy, you will need that documentation and you don't want to order hundreds or thousands of items and then find out that you can't sell it on Amazon. So hopefully this helped you out. Bottom line is go into your inventory. I would go to um, items that are inactive and basically go through that list anything that is a toy if you have no intention of selling it delete the listing just delete it off don't even close it just delete it you can always put the listing back up there again if it's something that um, you want to sell and you have the documentation but don't get hit with any more of these things if you don't have to because they still have items coming through you know me I'll be fine after another week because I went in, like I said, and I deleted all of the items that, um, that was on there. And then I do have a couple that I do need to sell out. And so what I would say is you may want to drop your price down to the point where you're the lowest one on there. Um, don't worry about losing, you know, money. You don't want your account to be closed forever, you know, and if you get too many of these things, I don't know what direction Amazon will go. And I want you to still be able to have a side hustle selling on Amazon. You know, selling on eBay is great, but if you got options, eBay, Macari, Amazon is great to have options with it. So hopefully this video helped you out. If you've learned something else around the uh, documentation that's being required for the toys, let me know. Drop a line below so other people that see this video, they can find it out too. Thank you for joining my show, Publishers, and we'll check you on the next video.